Hey y'all, welcome to our first official YouTube tutorial. Um, my name is Michael and I am the owner of Crafty Pink Scorpion and we're gonna just jump right in. This is going to be a 24 plump that we're using from the Steel Magnolia. You want to make sure that you have properly sanded your product and cleaned it off with 91% isopril alcohol. Um, we are then going to go in with counterculture DIYs, uh, fast setting epoxy. We are going to measure out equal parts of part A and part B of that epoxy. And then we are going to make sure that we mix it really, really well. And I put heavy emphasis on that because if it is not mixed well, what will happen is you will start to see the epoxy separate and that's what we would call fish eyes. You do not wanna have any fish eyes on your tumbler. So as you can see here, I am every two to three whips of this epoxy, I am scraping all of the sides. Sometimes I even start to rotate the cup just to make sure everything is mixed well. We're gonna then go in and apply the epoxy to the tumbler using the hang method and then we're gonna apply Fillery 2.0 from Peachy Olive Glitters. Love this glitter, super, super pretty, especially with this cup. Um, so we're gonna make sure this is applied, including the bottom. And then what we're gonna do next is we are going to... Now that we've allowed our epoxy to sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, we're now going to go in and flatten that glitter using... Um, parchment paper so we're gonna roll that glitter flat using parchment paper and make sure you get the bottom as well once that has been completed we can use counterculture um, or polyacrylic um, to make sure that none of that glitter lifts when we're going in to add epoxy we're gonna add two coats of epoxy to this tumbler and then we're gonna go in adding our vinyl um, which this vinyl is directly from peachy olive glitters as well we are just going to cut away any excess and then we're going to start applying this to the tumbler what we're going to do is a hinge method to make sure that all of them are applied um, evenly and the reason why I did it this way is because if you tried to eyeball this or if I tried to eyeball it, which I typically do for a lot of uh, my projects, it's not going to come out even. Um, I typically will do it with like SVGs, like the wording and things like that. But this, I wanted to make sure it was on there evenly. So what I did is I went along the top edge to make sure that lined up. And then from there, I just moved my hand back and forth. And it looks like I'm doing this really fast, but I promise you I am not. This video is just kind of sped up. Um, so we're going to make sure that everything is on there flat. And then we're going to pull back our transfer tape. Once the transfer tape has been removed, we're gonna go in and we're gonna start to tug at the vinyl. You don't wanna pull too rough because you could rip the vinyl. And then once we get that tugged around the bottom of the vinyl, we are going to cut a semicircle um, where that circle is at the bottom of the Steel Magnolia Cups. You can kind of see it still. Um, so we're gonna cut along that line. It's somewhat of an invisible line, but it works for me. We're gonna pull up any excess and then we're gonna go in with our vinyl details. We have not applied any epoxy at this time. We're just gonna apply the vinyl detail lines directly to the top of the vinyl that we just applied. This vinyl that we're using is from North 80. Um, there will be codes and links to this shop as well listed below. And we're going to do this for each and every line, left and right of each line to make sure that they are all covered. Once we're done with that, we want to make sure that at the bottom of the cup, you'll see all the 
um, lines, the excess lines. We're going to cut all of that stuff away. We're going to trim it up um, because shortly we are going to be um, making sure that all of that is sealed in before we apply epoxy. So we're just going to go in, cut out all of those excess pieces, get those thrown away so we can move on to the next step, which is going to be applying our SVG. In this part, we're going to be using the same exact vinyl as we did uh, previously. And in this part, we're just going to kind of pull away all of the additional pieces that we don't need um, so that we can start to uncover some of the lettering. This is an offset of the actual SVG. Um, I use 0 0.040 as my offset. I don't like my offsets super huge. I like them relatively small. Um, so it does not take away from the overall design of the item that I'm creating. Um, once that has been, all of the excess has been pulled away from that, we're gonna go in and add on the top portion of this SVG, which is it's a good day to have a good day. Love this SVG. Um, it really popped out at me the day that I selected it. Um, I was having an amazing day this day, so it just worked out. I wasn't even really looking for this. So we're gonna go ahead again, do the same thing. We're gonna pull up everything we don't need. Um, there might be some things that are left over, but just kind of examine that as you are moving through um, applying this decal. So we're going to use our transfer tape again, just to make sure um, we can place this over top of our offset. I don't do anything special. I just do eyeballing. Um, I don't recommend anybody doing it if you are not comfortable. Um, so do what works for you. If you have to do like, you know, applying the wax paper, and then applying the vinyl over top of that wax paper, do that. Um, I've seen a lot of people that works for, I don't have the patience for it, so I just do it this way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and lift this back up. We're gonna make sure it's applied, everything is good, and then we're gonna go in. And what you'll notice with this SVG is it's kind of not, it's a little bit oblong to me. Um, and the reason why I say that is because you'll notice that I started to cut around the SVG itself because I needed to see how much I would have on each side. And you're not going to really be able to tell from this video that I'm like examining it from left and right. But I am looking on both sides to make sure that the SVG is in the middle. Um, with the wavy lines and the shape of this SVG, it just kind of made a lot more sense to me. Um, so we're going to tape it down on the side. We're going to do the same thing as we did before, the hinge method. But now we're doing it with the SVG or the decal. And then we're going to smooth it out with our squeegee. We're going to pull up that tape and then we're going to apply the other side really, really slow. Again, the video looks like I'm doing it really fast, but I am not. I try to be as patient as possible when doing these because anything can go wrong. We all know how decal days can go. Although I love decal days. We're going to pull up that transfer tape and then your SVG is on and completed. Again, there might be excess pieces that you need to pull back. That's what I'm doing here. Um, but you just wanna make sure everything is good before you move on to your next steps. Um, we're gonna go in and add a couple of these little stars in. I wanted to give it a little bit more razzle dazzle than what it had. The SVG already comes with like three or four stars, but I wanted to add, you know, just a few more just so it could pop more and fill in some of those um, dead spaces. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so shortly after we've finished applying the stars, we're gonna go in and start applying polyacrylic. Um, 
I normally use quick coat, but I ran out of quick coat and I had to go directly to my polycrylic. It's the quickest thing that you can get. They typically carry it at Lowe's and Home Depot, but do not skip this step. Make sure you guys use this on any vinyls that you apply to your tumblers. We're gonna then go in after this is dry for about an hour. Um, we're gonna go in with a two coats of epoxy, a one fast set, and then the other coat being my top coat, and this will be your final result. I love how this tumbler turned out. If you guys like it, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and you will be seeing another tutorial from me again soon. Again, my name is Michael. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and I will talk to you later.